Honorable Minister Bright Ramirama, this is Odonga Oto, and I'm speaking from Spain. I heard you are in Lamour today, and I want to inform you of the following facts in English. And this same text, I will translate it in Acholi on the issue of the ranch. This is free legal advice. And if government of Uganda does not listen, we shall mobilize our people in thousands. Acholi district local government, the parent district, gave land in 1955, two years after Uganda Development Corporation was formed. They leased land to Uganda Development Corporation. And Uganda Development Corporation, the subsidiary organization of UDC, is Uganda Livestock Industries Limited. The lease was given by Acholi District Local Government to Uganda Livestock Industries Limited, a subsidiary organization of, U, of UDC. The lease was for 49 years. Now, if you add 49 years from starting from 1955, you can clearly tell that that lease has expired. Now, this is simple principle of law. Actually, district local government is the leaser, is the owner of the land. Uganda Livestock Industries Limited or Uganda Development Corporation is the leasee is the one who is to use land subject to the terms and conditions of the lease. For example, Kabaka, Bulanga is giving you land, is giving government of Uganda land. I am aware Bulanga gives land. For example, Mengo just extended the lease of Bat Valley. Mengo just extended the lease of the flats opposite Makerere University. Now, for us in Acholi, we gave lease to government of Uganda through UDC and Uganda Livestock Industries Limited. After the expiration of 49 years, two things is happening. One, UDC died. It became defunct in law. UDC closed business in 1984 or thereabout. They did not meet the terms and conditions of the lease that actually district local government gave them. So I am perplexed. I am surprised. I am regurgitated. I don't know how today government of Uganda can come and say that the land that was given to them by actually district local government is now theirs. This is, this is superfluous. This is obnoxious. So when Uganda Development Corporation, Honorable Minister, became defunct, the lease reverted back to actually district local government. And the successor in title of actually district local government is now per the district local government. So the leaser, the, the, the company, the unit that should now lease land to Uganda government is per the district local government and Lamua district local government. So using very rudimentary means of this government, and I told you you have to listen to me, they did two things. One, they changed the lease to freehold in 2016. We, we gave you a lease, now you change it that you are the owner forever. This is fraud. We shall not accept. I repeat, we shall not accept. You change a lease which has already expired to a freehold. Two, a company which became defunct, resurrected in 2017. A dead company resurrected. It's unprecedented in company law. And the company now resurrected in Ministry of Finance. And yet we gave our land to Ministry of Agriculture, Animal Industry, and Livestock Industries. So, Minister, this plan of government to remove land in Acholi will not be tolerated by us, the elites. Now, what should be done? There are some three things that you must do, Bright Ramirama. I know you, you're my friend, you worked with my dad. You are a gentleman. Listen, one, the proposed land which our grandfathers gave to government of Uganda was proposed 104,000 acres. And out of the 104,000 acres, it was proposed, it covers part of Gulu, Kidgum, and Lamua. That was proposed. In law, we call it an invitation to treat. It was not an offer. Then, the actual which was designated 
was 63,000 acres, which is predominantly in Pade. Achua ranchers never cross Kidgo. Achua ranchers never cross Pagay River. No! No! Now, even the 63,000 designated in Pade, government of Uganda started compensating people in 1955 and relocating them. There are families that relocated to Gulu in Chuero, others were relocated to Awaj. Now, even as the grandchildren were protesting, because government of Uganda gave people 7 shillings, 10 shillings, 13 shillings. And even the compensation for the 63,000 acres was not completed. They did not pay everyone. We can go back to the archives. They paid a few families. So, that issue is still pending. The second issue, there are elders. There is a muse whose name is like mine. He's called Muse Odonga. Honorable minister, spare your fuel and go and meet Muse Odonga. I hope he's still alive. We know the traditional boundary of the ranch. The ranch touches only Angagura sub-county and a little bit of Atar. The ranch never reached Laguri. The people of Laguri were not compensated. No. Muse Odonga is there. We are not refusing that there is no government ranch. But we are grotesting the extension of the ranch, first of all, to include Lamuo, and secondly, even to include the 63,000 acres. That was not paid for. These issues have to be resolved. Now, the portion of the, of the, of the, of the ranch, which is in Angagora, belongs to Pade district local government, not to government of the Republic of Uganda. And this will not be the last government. That's why we are putting this on record. So it is by the district local government, on behalf of actually district local government, to extend the lease to government of Uganda or to Uganda Livestock Industries Limited. The same way Buganda government is giving you lease in their land. And the, the lease is for purpose of livestock. We, the agreement by our grandparents in 1952 that they will bring cows and we shall participate in animal fattening. So that the local breeds in Acholi would change. That was the reason our forefather accepted to give the ranch. They did not give it for agriculture. Now, Nagrik is in Achua ranch. You should ask yourself, how many ranches, how many local cows have been fattened? How many? Nothing. They are protecting them with guns. Instead, the land is being used for grazing by Ankole pastoralists and senior officers in the UPDF. That is actually the main objective of coming back into the ranch. Go to the ranch, you find battalions, platoons of soldiers, guarding cows using guns. That is not the spirit in which our grandparents gave, gave land for the ranch. No. So in Pader, we will accept that portion of the land in Angagura for animal fattening. And we need a clear memorandum on how our breeds will be improved. If we want to engage in agriculture, there has to be fresh negotiations. And for me as a leader from Pade, we had agreed that we will lease that land to Gulu University and then Gulu University would use it as an agricultural college, the way Makere University has Cabanyolo. Then it would be up to Gulu University to lease it to Uganda prisons. So what you are doing is wrong. The land you have given to Uganda prison is in good faith, but you have used illegal means. You are going to uh, Lamor, I gl I'm glad you went for consultation. It is illegal, even in Pade, evicting people in, in Atanga, people who are not paid. We have the list of the families who are paid. It is also illegal. And this is just a reminder. When previous governments tried to use force, when governments changed, all the cattle brought in Acholi did not go back. There are people even who ate 10 livers after killing 10 cows. So we need to be consulted. There has to be a stakeholders meeting. Forget about the elected leaders only. We need all the stakeholders to be there. We need extensive consultation. We need to call the, the elders. We need to open the boundaries together. And we welcome government projects in our area. Not the way it is happening. We need the stakeholders. Those who know, like me. These elected leaders, some of them were born in 2001. We are talking of things of 1950. Honorable Minister, please consult. Let me go to Acholi. Lutua and my nano teen minister of Charla Moor. Atara Paruba. Niki Charaka consulting Dana Loka. Mom at Waran, Gandoto. One more war on me. Pewa be ye. Anu donga could be the matter of law at the bad day. At the bad day. A dugo gang. 
Aduho Ogang, this Christmas will not be merry. We are not going to have a merry Christmas. Pikinwara Choli Kumero. Pikinwara Choli Kumero. And I don't want any merry Christmas. The board will call you. 